Hey everybody, it's Gameplay4885 here. Welcome back to more Okami! And more freaking awesome music! Anyway, last time we got the last ingredients in Lord Orochi's um, um, appetizer. And in this episode, we're going to continue. Anyway, what are you going to do after giving the appetizer? Talk to this guy. Phew, that sure was stressful. I wish I hadn't seen Lord Orochi's throne room. There is something about that place that just terrifies me. Sorry, pal, but... <laughs> Sadly, this is probably the last time we see the awesome place. Would you mind taking this elevator to that throne room again? Wh what? Are you insane? Oh, come on, please. I mean, I want to take a peek at Lord, or Lord or Orochi's throne room, too. Come on, just this once. B -b but we're just Lord, or Lord Orochi's lo lovely underlings. Lord or Orochi will surely gobble us up if we barge in during dinner. You really want to see the throne room at that bad? Really want to? Uh, maybe not. Okay, yes. Anyway, before this, make sure you... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I can see that you want to change your mind. I'll take you to the throne room if you want to go... Oh, that bad. After all, I was born to operate this elevator. So, he's gonna go up. Anyway, I want to recommend, for this fight, you want to have a lot of ink units, okay? That's one of the reasons you want to upgrade your ink many times, uh, very close to max, as much as you can at, in the beginning already. So anyway, some creepy music sort of, um, some stuff here, there's the appetizer, can I have a power station? I guess not. And here's an ink immersion, so if you want to, I highly recommend if you don't have any, you should buy, uh, you can also buy the Infinity Judge if you want to. Anyway, I highly recommend getting at least one or two Infinity Stones, uh, maybe three, and an Exorcism Slip L for this fight. Also, just because I don't feel very safe, I'm just gonna buy some Holy Bone S, and I'm gonna sell my items. Very bad um, fish. Um, I'm gonna sell. Uh, I'm gonna sell my um, um, whole of M's because you know I only have three units of health. Wow, nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine yen. Yeah, that's just funny. I have one yen from getting one hundred thousand. You know how I can get it? Here's a golden gate. Why the? I'm stuck. Anyway, we're now going up to the Battle of Orochi, the boss of this dungeon. Spoilers. So, I'm just running here. Oh, wild god of the heavens. 
100 years have passed since you imprisoned me here. How is it you have come back after crushing and turning into stone? 100 years in that cold, stony tone. You reek of de the save. I've heard enough. Bottoms up, big guy. The sake. Bleh. Hey, that was good sucking. Susano is here. Orochi and I have a score to settle. Pops? Damn. Long have I awaited your coming, old oh, sending up Nagi. Now we shall fulfill this burning desire which has consumed us. The descendants of Nagi have kept me imprisoned here for a hundred years. Yet, it is that accursed bloodline which shall unleash my true power. I pact between Nagi's descendants and I, the great Orochi, shall deliver unto, unto my dark me dark powers beyond all comprehension. Let us seal the blood pact for all eternity. What the heck, serpent? Breathe talking about. A blood pack with Susano will unleash Orochi's true power? Basically, since it was Susano who released Orochi, he has the power to release Orochi's true power. Oh, he who seeks power, your first chance slipped through your grasp. grasp. But now the time has come for us to seal our internal bond. Speak the words, I wish darkness upon the world. Utter that prayer to me and seal our blood pact. You too shall gain dark powers beyond all comprehension. Orochi is trying to attend Susano? I bet that sneaky serpent was the one giving Pops those nightmares. Now utter the prayer. Let the words come from deep within. Recite the words of our blood pact. Everyone's waiting. Oh, I show. Susano? 